Configuring the Primo New UI. Hi, we're looking at the new UI of Primo. Note that our view ID is new UI. Of course, your view ID may differ. And in this session, we'll show you how you can make changes to this UI using the Primo back office. All configurations follow these steps, downloading the template package from the back office, making the required changes, and then uploading the modified package back to Primo. Let's see how this is done in the Primo back office. To download the customization template package from the Primo homepage, go to Primo Utilities, UI Customization Package Manager. Now you can also get to this page from the quick menu by Deploy and Utilities Customization Manager. The first step is to make sure to select the view that you wish to edit. In our case, New UI. Next, to download the package, click Download. And let's take a look at our downloaded file. Here it is, templatepackage.zip. Now the first step is to extract the template folder from the zip file. Note that by default, the template folder is called view code. You want to change this to your view code. So in our case, it will be new UI. In your case, change it to your specific view code. If you don't change your name correctly, you won't be able to re-upload the package. Now at this point, you make the desired changes to the UI. After you've made your edits, zip this file. And now let's upload this package back to Primo. So back in the Primo back office, in the UI customization package manager, make sure that you have the right view selected. And under Upload Package, click Choose File, select the zip file, and Upload. Package was uploaded successfully. Once we've finished uploading, it's time to deploy our changes. After deployment, the changes will be viewable in the UI. Let's click Deploy. And we can see the status of our deploy job over here. As you can see, our job is running. The deployment can take a few moments. And our deployment has finished, as you can see in the status. And if we'll go back to the Primo UI, any changes we've made will be seen. In our case, we didn't make any changes, so it should look exactly the same as it was before. Thank you for joining us. This was configuring the Primo new UI. In our next sessions, we'll see how you make the changes to the template file.